our story problem. Now, when I read in math, I read multiple times. So the first time that I read this, I'm reading, bless you, to get a big picture. I want to visualize what is this problem about? What are we talking about? So when I read, you want this to word here, you want to um, get a cell phone. You have to pay the bill yourself. AT&T charges a flat fee of $30 plus $8 per gigabyte of data. Straight Talk charges $35 plus $7 per gigabyte of data. Write the equation modeling how much it would cost to use AT&T. So I read that, my goal was, big picture, what is this problem about? What I'm asking myself. It's about different cell phone plans, right? And how many do I have to choose from? I've got two options. Now the second time I read in math, I'm looking for what, what is the question asking me to do? Sometimes we look for a question mark. Do you see a question mark in what we read? There's not one, is there? No. So I have to look at what the, this problem is telling me to do. So this time when I read, I'm just skimming it. I'm not rereading all of it. I'm saying, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to get a cell phone. There's at and there's straight top. Oh, here is where the question is. It's telling me to write an equation. Here's what I have to do. Now, I'm going to annotate this, meaning I'm going to kind of translate some of this. So when you hear the word equation, what do you think of? What does that mean, equation? What does it have to have? Numbers. Numbers and an equal sign. So in order to write an equation, I'm going to tell myself by writing this above here, I need an equal sign. And it's going to model how information I'm going to use. So if I'm focused on AT and T, I don't really need this first sentence. I'm actually going to cross it out. And you can do that as well. Okay? So AT&T is this sentence right here. Let's talk about AT&T first. So this sentence is saying that AT&T charges $30 plus $8 per gigabyte. If my goal is to write an equation, let's translate. What does it mean when it says a flat fee of $30? How many times am I paying that? Once. Once. Flat fee. One and done. So I'm paying $30. How would I translate my, this word? Eight. Just plus, right? Plus sign. Eight dollars per gigabyte. What does the per mean in this sentence? Times. Does it always mean times? It does a lot. Is there another thing that it could mean? If I have these M&Ms and I'm gonna give one per student, what am I doing with my M&Ms? I'm dividing it up, right? So does per always mean times in math class? No. Not always, but in this case, it does. So eight times, I'm using an asterisk because if I put this symbol for times, what else could that look like? It looks like X, doesn't it? So we don't want to use X anymore. Um, so what about gigabyte? Do I know how many gigabytes I'm going to be using? No. No, do I? So what do we do in math when we have an unknown? We could use, we could use X, we could use any variable, right? What's important here is that I define that variable. So what do you want to use? X, we could use O, we could use G, we could use almost any letter. So now let's write this. I'm writing $30 plus eight per gigabyte. Now do I really need that? No. Nah. We, we write a coefficient in front of our variable in algebra class. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and read this a fourth time. 
I know what the big picture is. I know what the problem's asking. I know what information it gave me. The fourth time I read, I want to make sure I've answered the question or answered the problem. So it says write an equation. Do I have an equation? No, I do not. I have an expression. What am I missing? I need to set it equal to something. Uh-oh, what am I going to put over here? I'm writing an equation that's modeling how much it would cost. Do I know how much my bill's going to be? Uh-uh, so what else am I going to need? Another variable. What letter do you want to use this time? Okay, I use B. Now, remember I said if we're using variables, I need to define them. So what does X mean in this problem? What does this stand for? It means the gigabytes. Ooh, is that a word that I know? Did I get stuck on that word when I was reading? What are we talking about when we say gigabytes? Your data, yeah, on your cell phone. Right? Some of us have an unlimited plan, and it doesn't matter how many gigabytes we're using. Some of us, we get a message, uh-oh, your you know, lunch isn't over yet, and you're close to using your gigabytes. You want to buy another one? So I'm using my GPS while I'm out and about. That uses data. So that's what we're talking about when we say gigabytes. It's a measurement of data. Okay, and then what are we saying for P? The cost. The, to the cost of the bill. So we're using gigabytes, and we're using dollars for the cost. So now, have I written an equation modeling how much it would cost to use AT&T? Yes, I have. Now, if you haven't taken the time to do this, go ahead and write this down on your paper. Thank you for your attention. Now you have a minute to write. Notice all these symbols I made too. So it's not just writing the answer that's important. It's the whole process that we just went through. So we're looking at what's important, what information am I pulling out as I read through this. 